We just got some really big bad news about Apple's master plan for 2023. We heard for months and months that lots of new products were coming this year. New iPhones, iPads, AirPods, Macs, everything was going to be amazing. But now we're hearing that that's not actually happening anymore. In fact, Apple just canceled or paused tons of their big upgrades planned for the year, all for one big reason. So let's break down the Apple products that are actually going to launch this year, what we're not going to see, and why Apple is betting it all and going all in on one brand new product that a lot of you are honestly going to absolutely hate. Let's kick things off on a positive note and start with the iPhone 15, because despite a lot of the bad news, which I'll get into, you can rest easy in knowing that yes, we will be getting at least three brand new iPhones this year with the 2023 iPhone 15 lineup. Now, while Apple is still expected to give all of the big upgrades just to the higher end 15 Pro and 15 Ultra, the regular 15 models are actually going to get some big upgrades of their own this year. The regular 15 phones should be getting some really cool new features, like the Dynamic Island will be coming into these lower end phones, hopefully some new colors, the A16 Bionic processor, the super high end 48 megapixel main camera, and a USB-C port on the bottom of every single new iPhone for 2023. But some bad news here you need to know is that Apple might be canceling the plus size option that they just introduced due to poor sales. So instead of having four options to choose from, the iPhone 15 line might only have basically three phones in it, the iPhone 15, the 15 Pro, and the new best of the best and most expensive 15 Ultra. And sort of sticking to the bad news theme, let's just sort of continue the negative things you need to know. And that is that according to the latest reports coming in, Apple has no major upgrades planned this year for the Apple Watch, Apple Watch Ultra, AirPod lineup, iPad and iPad Pro this year. It seems like all of the exciting stuff and all the big new features Apple is going to save for next year and won't be seen until, well, 2024 at the earliest. Now, this isn't to say we won't get a new Apple Watch this year, the Series 9, or any new iPad models, but expect any new updates for the Apple Watch or iPad to come to be very, very minor. No design change on the outside, probably no new colors, just some minor, like, spec bumps on the inside, sort of tucked away under the hood. It's a similar story here with the Mac line too. We will be getting a few new Macs this year, a new MacBook Air with a 15 inch screen and a new Apple Silicon Mac Pro. But again, all the changes here are under the hood. The design on the outside for all these machines is expected to be exactly the same. And as you'd expect, it's a similar story with Apple's software strategy too iOS 17 is coming, it will be shown off this year in June, but again, it's not expected to be packing as many big upgrades as was originally planned for it, so expect some smaller, less substantial changes to your iPhone software uh, later on this summer. Okay, so with all that said, what's with all the bad news this year? Why is Apple shelving so many big new upgrades? Well, there are a few reasons for this, but really, the big one here is all because of this. It's Apple's mixed reality AR VR headset that is finally, yes, finally at long last, set to be released this year. Apple is devoting almost all of its resources, all of its money, all of its teams to make sure this thing is finally ready to go and ready to hopefully just blow us all away. We're now hearing that Apple will show off this headset at an event in the spring, and it's gonna be packed with cameras and sensors, iris trackers, two 4K micro OLED displays, and of course, a starting price tag that is not cheap, probably around, if not more, than $3,000 for this very first model. Obviously, Apple is betting big. They're going all in on this headset, and they are hoping that just like the iMac, iPod, iPhone, and iPad, this is their next big thing, the next revolutionary product that Apple announces that changes the world forever. But many are concerned that Apple might just get this all wrong, and if they do, it could cause so many problems. Not only has Apple dedicated years and years to building this thing, but they've invested hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, into bringing this headset from concept to reality. And if it doesn't catch on, they not only lose out on a ton of money and a ton of credibility, 
But these delays on all their products, iPads, iPhones, and AirPods, will severely put them behind the competition because Apple was so focused on trying to make this headset be a major success. So now we should be just a few months away from finally getting our very first glimpse at what this headset's gonna look like, what it's gonna do, and what it's going to cost. Hopefully it lives up to the hype and makes all of these other major delays really worth it in the long run.